Uh, we're going to do a trap choke, standing trap choke. This is a variation uh, of a uh, kata, juju jime. Kata is, is one up, one down type thing. And this is a, a variation. Some people call it uh, uh, morote jume, both hand strangle, both hand choke. It goes by other names as well. Uh, some people call it the baseball bat choke because you're grabbing like a baseball bat. Okay? Um, but if you don't play baseball, you wouldn't have any idea what that means if you live in some other country, the United States or Japan. But anyway. The idea is one palm up, one palm down, right? And the, the palm up hand is going to be the strangling or choking hand, right? The other hand will assist too, but it really is the clamp hand, okay? Now, we've been working a lot lately, besides the trap choke, we've been doing that. We've also been working a lot if the guy is bent over, if you're fighting an opponent who's bent over a crouch and really has a shell and it's hard to break through that shell. This is a really good technique for that, okay? So he's all bent over, he's crouched or anything. Now he thinks I'm just getting a high grip up here. He just thinks I'm grabbing this and he still feels relatively safe. What I'm going to do is put my hand palm up. We see the palm up. And it's going to be right where it's just right along the side of his neck. And my wrist is going to be under his, I'll turn around, turn around, come around. So I'll, I'll turn around here so you can see this. My, my palm up is like this, see that? Just there. And it's no big deal initially here. He's bent over and he's thinking, well, he's just getting a high grip on me. Right? And I've got that. Well, my other hand is going to reach up here and grab palm down. And I'm going to have a little bit of space in between when I grab the, the collar here. This palm up, this palm down. You know, if, if, you're, if you want to grab really close, you can. But you'll probably find if you have a little bit of space, about an inch or so between your hands, it really is helpful. Because it allows you to swing your elbow in th deeper and through uh, more fully. Now, what this is, he's all bent over here and he's... He's just thinking I want to try to throw him. Well, I have no intention of throwing him. I want to strangle him or choke him and take him down. This is a really sudden, rough technique. So be ready to tap out on the way down, okay? Um, and I, I like Derek, so I, and he's, he and Mike are going to do this. So I'm not going to apply it when I do. But when I do this, I'm going to swing through. And when I swing through, my elbow is going to go through. My elbow and toe are connected together. I'm going to have these guys demonstrate on each other now so I can actually pull it off. So Mike is bent over. He's being that shell, that defensive shell. Now Derek is a lefty. Let's come over here to the side of the Can everybody see this? Okay. Now Derek is going to do it left side. So his palm, left hand is palm up. His right hand is palm down. So his left hand is going to be his choking hand. His right hand is his anchor hand. It's anchored on there. Now, watch how this elbow and his toe work together because they will swing together when Derek swings under Mike. And what he's going to do when he swings under Mike, he's going to drive his left forearm right across Mike's trachea, really low. But the other one's going to be squeezing it together. So he's going to be really trapping. That's what we call it a trap choke. He's going to be trapping his head between this vice grip right here, this pincer, this pincer here. Okay? So, he's going to do it. And notice when he swung through, he rolled over to his opposite hip. He, he, he didn't roll over Mike over, because if he did, he let Mike off the hook. And it's a quick, fast trap. Do it again one more time. Now, the guy's bent over, he just feels, he doesn't, he doesn't feel a threat. There you go. Now, it's important that you just don't roll down like a, you know, like a barrel roll or something. When you do this, your elbow, he's doing it the way he wants you to do it. His elbow and toe are together. They're connected like this. That gives you more torque in the, in the strangle, the choke itself. Okay, one more time. Mike's bent over. Okay, Derek's going to swing under. And there it is, like that. Okay? It's, it's the standing trap choke. So you can call it Morote Jume, you can call it uh, Kate Juji Jume. It goes by other names, I think. Baseball bat choke, like I said. But this is a really, really good um, sneaky move. I don't think it's allowed in IGF Judo anymore. But we would allow this in the freestyle judo rules. Freestyle judo contest rules, you see it in combat sambo, if you could pull it off with his hand yeah. grips if you could. Um, you could pull it off in a lot of different sports. I don't know if they use Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Probably could, I guess. Uh, any type of sport, grappling, like when we used to compete in the, the gi grappling jiu-jitsu, you could do that as well. So one more time, and we're going to do it without gi in a moment here. Okay? So he swings through. Do a different angle without killing the guy. Just start your back to, to the yeah. There, there, there. Start to head turn your back. There you go. Now watch the watch the footage. See that? That's it. Be careful with it, each other. Don't do it too hard. And remember, you drive it across there. Okay.
take care of each other's practice. There's an application of the uh, trap choke. That's a, that's a pretty, pretty good, you know, uh, active application. If the guy is on elbows and knees and he wants to stand up in front of you, well, you can help him and then help him get trap choked in. So, so if if Mike is down on elbows and knees or just in a down position, and Derek is going to start setting up. He knows Mike wants up to maybe attack him or maybe shoot a double leg or something. Who knows what? But as soon as Mike comes up, notice that Derek's already got his hand working. He's already got one palm up, one palm down. Now, what Derek is looking for is this. As soon as Mike starts to come up and clear some space where Derek thinks he has the room, he goes right back under and catches the trap choke. This is a really sneaky application of it. And remember, chokes should be sneaky, okay? So you're kind of drawing him up. So the guy's down, and as soon as he starts, he wants up, he might even start backing out of way. And that's where you catch it. Can you kind of from the opposite position, just turn your back to me. So watch, watch how he does it. Sets his hands up. There you go. Now, what'll happen in, uh, in a real situation, a guy who's a good, smart fighter on the bottom, you know, uh, Judoka, jiu-jitsu, you know, sambo guy, well not sambo, but because we don't strangle right. sambo, but combat sambo. He will, is, if he's down, he's going to start to get up, he's going to back up and get out. Okay, he's not going to just stand up and let you attack him. So he may be backing up, and that's perfect time for this, because you can just like walk in and follow. Okay, so it's a really good, aggressive application of the trap choke, kata juju jume. So as he's getting up, as soon as you, you kind of feel him starting to stand a little bit, you push him back and up. So you're not like pulling him all the way up from a prone position. He's already coming up, so you just kind of go like this, and that gives you more space, and you immediately swing him. Yeah, you, you lead him on. You lead him on. You know, just like you got a fish on the line, you got a fish on the line here, type of thing. Okay, one more time, and then we'll let him practice. There you go. So it's a trap choke of get, against, against the guy who's on elbows and knees and he wants to come up to, to rise. Great way to, Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday to you, okay? All right, all right, let's try that guys, let's go get it.